Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we will take a question from the concept of entropy and it is also been asked in CSU2 University exam thrice that is in 2008, 2015 and in 2017. Okay, so let's dive in. The question is like this. M1 kg of water at T1 temperature is mixed with M2 kg of water at T2 temperature where T1 is greater than T2. Okay. It says that show that for equal masses of water that means for M mass that is M1 is equal to M2 M right the entropy change of the mixture is given by ds universe is equal to 2 m cp log to the base e that is your natural log ln t1 plus t2 by 2 under root t1 into t2 okay so before starting the question let's assume that the whole system is insulated that is the your mixing chamber assuming the mixing chamber is insulated see this is not given in the question uh, so we have assumed this otherwise if it is given in the question you don't have to assume this point okay so let's draw the diagram according to the question. So to get a clear clear picture of the problem. Okay. So this is your uh, mixing chamber. Okay. And this is your body one, which is having m1 kg of water at the temperature T1 and this is your body 2 which is having M2 kg of water of water at temperature T2 where T1 is greater than T2 now it says that show that the, for equal masses of water when they are mixed in equal masses that is Mm, m1 is equal to m2 for m1 is equal to m2 that is say m the entropy change of the mixture should be this ok so when it mixes say the temp uh, body with temperature higher temperature loses some heat which is gained by the body which is having a lower temperature right so as to attain thermal equilibrium and to get temper a, a particular temperature after attaining the thermal equilibrium both the bodies will have the same temperature after attaining the thermal equilibrium so let t3 is the final temperature of both the bodies after attaining after attaining thermal equilibrium ok right now heat lost by body 1 is equal to heat gained by body 2 ok so we have equal masses so mass will be m into cp into t3 will be lower temperature uh, in corresponding to T1 because 
this body will losing heat so t1 minus t3 okay the temperature difference for body 2 that will be mass is same so i am writing m into cp see this body 2 will gain some heat right so the temperature will increase that means the t3 is greater than this t2 so it will be t3 minus t2 see this m m and cp cp will be cancel out right so we are left with t1 minus t3 is equal to t3 minus t2 and you when you simplify this you will get t3 is equal to t1 plus t2 by 2 okay so we got this equilibrium temperature T3 which will both uh, attended by both the bodies after mixing. Okay. Now, as I said that the mixing chamber is insulated, then DS universe universe is equal to what? DS system plus DS surrounding. See, there is no change, no heat interaction between the system and surrounding because this mixing chamber, which is our system, is insulated. So, this DS surrounding will be zero. So, that means your DS universe is nothing but DS system and the DS system is nothing but the algebraic sum of the entropy change for body 1 and entropy change for body 2 ok so let's start with your entropy change for body 1 so you have ds1 is equal to m we have equal masses so i will be writing this as m ok it is capital m because equal masses into cp into ln for this body the final temperature is T3 and the initial temperature is T1. Okay. So, let's put T3 as T1 plus T2 by 2. So, it will be changed as M into Cp into Ln T1 plus T2 by 2T1. Okay. This ln is nothing but log to the base E. Right? Okay. So, now we have entropy change for body 2. Okay. So, we have ds2. We have m into cp into ln final temperature for this will be T3 again and the initial temperature is T2 so again we are putting T3 as T1 plus T2 by 2 right here so we will get M into Cp ln T1 plus T2 by 2T2 ok now as I said that this DS system is the algebraic sum of the entropy change for body 1 and body 2. So let's sum up this two. Right. Okay. Okay. So we have... Uh, DS system 
or it is ds universe is equal to ds1 plus ds2 why it is equal to universe because we have shown that ds universe for the or for our uh, problem ds universe is your ds system because ds surrounding is zero okay m into cp into i am writing this as ln that is nothing but your log to the base e okay so it is log to the base e t1 plus t2 by 2t1 okay plus m into cp into log e t1 plus t2 by 2 e2 okay you got this now let's bring m and cp common from both we can take out common right so we have m into cp into c log to the base e we have this and log to the base e we have this so we can have your uh, these two are can be written as log to the base e right t1 plus t2 square by 2 t1 into 2 t2 i am using your basic properties of log uh, logarithmic function okay it is m into cp log e see this i can rearrange as t1 plus t2 whole square by this one as 2 under root t1 t2 square this is your 4 2 into 2 4 so when you open this you will get it is 4 and it is under root t1 into t2 so uh, squaring of under root will be t1 into t2 so you will get this only i have just uh, modified this according to this right okay now it can be written as m into this is what your ds universe okay so yeah this is your ds universe it can be written as log to the base e t1 plus t2 by 2 under root t1 into t2 square i can write it like this now ds universe can be written as c again logarithmic function and property is like this if uh, log a square so this square can be brought in front right so i am bringing this 2 in front and you will get 2 into m into cp log to the base e t1 plus t2 by 2 under root t1 into t2 and this is what we have been asked to prove